Hello and welcome back and today I want to continue looking at a number of those beta applications that have been added to the very latest version of DSM 6.2.2. Now today I want to focus on Synology Drive but more appropriately I want to talk about Synology Drive Client. This is an extension application that can be installed on your client machine, in this case a Windows machine but I'm sure it's available for Mac as well. And what it's for is to give you a number of the synchronization advantages that are currently unavailable from almost every other NAS or third party cloud platform. Now, just to put it into perspective, let's have a quick, quick overview of what NAS is in the food chain. Because a number of you are either new to NAS or you're thinking about getting a NAS and you've been spending a number of years using things like Dropbox and Google Drive and you've been using it in a certain fashion. You've been using a system known as synchronization. Now, some of you, particularly home users, if you do use third-party cloud services, you end up going via your web browser and logging in and going and heading over to something like Dropbox. And when you go to Dropbox, you would log in and then from there you can access this graphical user interface, this GUI that's in the browser. You'd log in and you'd see a big selection of files and folders here in your web browser. But in reality, <clears throat> the most useful way in which you want to access your files is predominantly in your own system. You want to what, look at it in Windows Explorer or using the Mac um, File Explorer. What you want to be able to utilize is your own system because all your software uses that. So a couple of, uh, I believe, almost two years ago, Synology released an application called Drive. Now, Drive was their alternative to Dropbox and Google Drive. Not the access of, you know, seeing your files on a NAS. NAS has always been an alternative to a third-party cloud. What Drive is, and was, and still is, is the ability to access your NAS um, in a one portal access point in the browser and therefore access the entire contents of your NAS. So you would be able to log in and see all of your files via a single web interface and you can open photos, music, video, PDFs and more. And also with the assistance of applications like Synology Mail, Synology Calendar and Synology Office, open Office applications in a far more bespoke fashion too. So that's what Synology Drive is, but that doesn't really address the synchronization angle that it can do. Now, once you log into Synology Drive, <coughs> it advises you to install the client app. Now, the client app for Windows is very straightforward and easy, and once you've installed it, you head over to it, and you can log in. Now, this client application, if we go there, <coughs> creates a folder on your local PC, Mac, or whatever machine. This folder will then be synchronized with the cloud. Now this is more than just a mapped network drive. For those that aren't aware, if you do sign up a NAS for the first time, you can just right click it when you find it, map a drive, and then it will create a file, let's go in here, next to my computer and stuff like that, which will show the content of certain NAS folders. That is a mapped drive. This isn't the same thing. What we're talking about today is a synchronized folder. In this case, the Synology Drive folder. And this drive is synchronized with the NAS. Any changes you make, depending on the settings you want to set up, affect both. And if you want a folder on your localized machine with all the files and folders without having to go via the web browser or any of this other stuff, this is exactly what you want to do. You want to be able to sync, have a synchronized drive and then all of the kind of um, utility that you have from any file on your local machine will be accessible to you. And these files on the NAS can be accessed and are usable as if they are on your local machine. So, moving forward from that, what are the big advantages of this new version of Drive? Well, the new version of Drive has a great new file streaming add-on. They've got lots of different terms for it. But in short, and I will go through more of Drive's applications later, but I just really want to focus on this one ability. The latest version of the client application of Drive has these extra things here. Now, I know they look like nice colorful ticks, but they all mean something different. Having files um, mapped and synchronized on a local Drive like this, so the files that are on the NAS are also here, will still occupy space on your local PC till now because you can now choose 
to have streamed files in the same way you'd stream a photo, a music file, or anything like that on your PC. And therefore, you have access to the index and the entire list of files and folders that are on the NAS and know just how big they are, but at the same time, not have them occupy any space on your local machine. So, for example, this file here, uh, this folder of called TV Shows, this has four files on it from our recent Plex video, and it has this little cloud symbol. The cloud symbol in this case means these files are on the NAS. However, we have not got them stored on the local PC. That is to say that these four files that on the NAS are taking up this much space, you know, I think two thirds of a gig, perhaps. These files are not taking up any room on the local PC. <clears throat> and if we want to watch them, we double click them, and what happens is they are now downloaded to the local system and we can then watch them and enjoy them. Now, again, such a low priority file like this, we don't want it to take up loads of space on our local PC. We want to know what's on the NAS, but we don't want to have to go to the trouble of storing it on the local PC because we're only going to watch this particular episode of Friday Night Dinner once. So in this case, this is a great way to be able to see the directories and see all the files um, on our NAS in a local environment without taking up any space. And now when we've downloaded the file, it is now changed to the green tick. The green tick means that the file is both on the NAS and there is a copy on this PC. But say we've just watched this file. Well, we can right click it, we can go to the Synology Drive option, and we can free up space. And now the file is deleted from the local machine, the local PC, but not deleted on the NAS. It's still very much there on the NAS waiting to be found. Now, making our way back to this, we can look at some of the other options of Drive. Because if we go back, say for example, it's a working file, say for me, I edit a lot of uh, photos and video. What I would like to do is make sure that all of the files that are important to me are always on this synchronized file. Say there's stock footage or video footage such as you know movies and more. Maybe there's segments of different footage that I've recorded in the past. Sound recordings and more. Or say I want to use the photos. Now what you can do with these fold files and folders is you can decide I want to keep them on the NAS uh, and the synchronized folder on my local machine permanently. So say stock footage. You can right click, go to the Synology Drive option, and you can pin this local copy permanently. That means in this synchronized folder, there will always be a copy of this file on the NAS, and there will also be a permanent copy on the local machine. And this will then turn into a deep green tick. This means that it is both visible on the NAS and my local machine has now always got a copy of that file. And if I change my mind later, I can right click, go to Synology Drive, and free up space. It's also worth mentioning that this can be done right the way down to an individual file level. It doesn't have to be done on a folder level. So I can say this one file, I want to keep a permanent copy, but the rest can wait. The bigger the file, the longer it takes. Now, this is a big, big deal for those that use Dropbox and more in a synchronized capacity. There's a company here that I work with very closely, and they utilize the similar system of Dropbox synchronization. But the problem is with Dropbox syn syn um, synchronization is firstly, your PCs are doing all of the work with Dropbox doing very little of it. Two, you're relying on internet speeds and not network speeds, which are notoriously affected by uploads and downloads on your local environment, far more than a standard one GBE network or indeed 10 GBE network. Synology Drive and the synchronization of the new Synology Drive client 2.0 cannot be understated because this simple option, which is very much in the Synology ethos of keeping things smart and simple and easy, is really, really handy. And remember, this isn't just here. This, the Drive application via the web browser is still absolutely tip top with applications for mobile, Android, um, and uh, iOS. Now, with regard to the client itself, you can change a lot of things about what and when is synchronized. So you set up pathways between one or more NASes together and you can edit that connection as needed. You can select individual drives and folders or have multiple folders on the NAS that are synchronized 
with your local PC, each one having their own folder. And that can go all the way down to individual logged in users too, not just admins. Backup tasks can be set up to make sure that files are backed up from your local machine onto the NAS in exactly the same fashion, which is incredibly handy for those that require synchronization and backups to be happening constantly and synchronized at all times. Finally, there's a log to show that all the files that have gone up and down in case you're wondering about the loss or gain of files along the way. Notifications will show you when changes happen if you set up certain alerts and rules. And finally, you can set up how backups and how file deletions are actioned. So for example, you can set it up that deleting a file locally will just re-pull it from the NAS when needed or have it synchronized that a local deletion is also a NAS deletion. Very risky, but some people quite like that. And there's lots more that can be changed and added over time. So Synology Drive Client 2.0 and of course the Synology Drive application are available now free with your purchase of a Synology NAS. And on top of that, it's worth mentioning that the application themselves, if you are looking for a beta application, ignore that, that's a 419 Slim that I work it on for another video, the applications are readily available very, very quickly indeed to most users just by going to the package center. If we find the package center there, I've probably not spotted it. And it's there in the background, you blind son of a gun. And there in the beta package is the Synology Drive server client and office client and some of these other beta applications that we're currently working our way through while waiting for the next big thing from Synology. If I had to talk about pros and cons, obviously the pros I've gone all the way through. The only cons I would say is with regard to Synology Drive and its folder structure, but this is something I'm assured is being worked on right now and quite frankly is a small factor indeed. Nevertheless, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Do stay tuned for more overviews of the beta applications coming out of Synology and of course the new releases in Q3 and Q4 and that ever elusive DSM 7.0 whenever that arrives. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.